Hey guys and welcome to Camo's Place where we're playing more of Unmetal. This game's been pretty awesome to play through. We're up to chapter number three and I've got to say the commentary through this game's been pretty amusing and I can't wait to jump into this next level. So we'll jump back to where we last were at. All right guys, if this is the first time you're at my channel, welcome and if you've been here before, welcome back. Let's jump into it. Chapter three in the lion's den. The light at the end of the tunnel was not the jungle I was hoping for. Instead, I found myself in what looked like an office. With cabinets, desks, and of course, a damn guard. <laughs> Later, I'd realized that I was in one of the two main buildings of the military base. The building had three floors, hidden secrets, and a few unexpected surprises. Anyway, I headed towards the only exit, which was close to the first floor office I started in. Alright, search for the building's exit. Is this guy gonna be alarmed when I do this? Huh? What was that? Come over here, buddy. Nice. That worked better than I thought it would. First aid kit, which I don't need. I guess we'd better check these files. I'm assuming, anyway. No, nothing in there. So I must, I must be only able to hold six first aid kits. All right. Actually, so what I'll do is let's just do this. Let's use that. Grab another one. Cool. Uh, do we need Colonel, do you copy? For the love of God, where have you been? I thought you were dead. <laughs> As I said, Colonel, there's no signal in the sewers. Give me a sit rep, son. My report. After crossing a mile of smelly, mutant-infested shit streams, Fighting thousands of rodents and nearly being torn apart by some shredders, I managed to get out of there and I'm still in this fucking military base. <laughs> don't lose your marbles, son. You have plenty of night time and they don't know your location. Take advantage of this and get the hell out of there. Just don't forget the documents. We need to find out more about Operation Jericho. If I make it out alive, will you write me a recommendation letter? If you make it out, we'll give you a damn purple cross. Over and out. Alright, let's check the other guy. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Katsala, taking some pictures of a bunch of military trucks. There was too much security. They were obviously hiding something. I couldn't clearly see what they were loading, so I got closer. Turns out, I got too close. Next thing you know, I was surrounded by a bunch of pricks aiming rifles at my head. Did you at least manage to see what they were loading? Sure did, but I was disappointed. What did you see? Concrete. Concrete? Are you kidding? Two huge rectangular concrete blocks. Each could barely fit into a truck. You were imprisoned for a piece of concrete? Fuck, man. I'd be disappointed too. Too much security for something so mundane. <laughs> but enough about me. You should get back to your escape, my friend. Alright, all that for concrete. Alright, what's this? In the lion's den. We're empty potty. Alright, game save. Let's keep going. See what other Which way is he going? I thought I was I thought I was gonna be caught then. Alright, got a coin. Let's pick him up, move him over here just in case. Get more of those uranium balls. Ooh, another one of those. Right, nice. Able to take him out. 
almost nothing there. There it was. The exit. Sergeant Roscoe's security card didn't open the door. So I had to search for someone who would lend it to me. Look for the ex exits. Access card. Okay, yeah, that would be way too easy, wouldn't it? Alright, two guys. Separate, yes. Mike! Are you okay? Ooh, level up, Lieutenant. Ooh, Tiger Lunge. You may press X instantly close the distance and punch enemies' encounters. The cooldown between rolls is halved. Ooh, let's do that one. I tend to roll a lot more. Alright, nice. Alright, let's go in here. Please. There, right in front of me, was the sick bay. Walking through that door changed everything forever. Oh no. Should we get ready? Uh, it's him. It's the prisoner that hit us. It turned out that all the guards I knocked out were brought to the sick bay. And some were still there. Freeze! Don't move or I'll shoot! Okay, I surrender. The woman that was aiming at me was the doctor. She, of course, was very pissed off because of the copious amount of work I caused. What a face. <laughs> what a body. What a beauty. This girl was smoking hot. And she had a gun aimed straight at my head. At that distance, I couldn't do anything to neutralize her. I had to improvise. I needed something that would cause a non-lethal wound, like a sharp piece of metal. But, I had to grab it without making a single step. Okay. Sharp piece of metal. Rusty wire. Have you ever had a gun pointed at you? Your adrenaline skyrockets. You react on instinct. Everything happened so fast that the doctor had no time to react. In one swift movement, I took the wire, looked deep within the doctor's eyes, and... Chest, belly, thigh. Let's try thigh. I stuck it in my thigh. What the hell did you just do? I just hurt myself. Are you nuts or what? <laughs> Now you can't shoot me. What do you mean? You just made it easier for me. According to the degree on your wall, you're a doctor. The Hippocratic Oath you took as a doctor forces you to aid your patients and also forces you to cause patients no harm. I've been injured in a sick bay. Your sick bay. Therefore, I'm now your patient. And I'm forced to assist you. You bastard! Yeah, been called that plenty of times. By the way, I'm bleeding. Fine. I'll heal you. Then you get the hell out of here. Done. It's no longer bleeding. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. By the way... <laughs> hey, what was that for? That's for all the extra hours. I'm working because of you. It's just as well that you didn't kill anyone. Kill someone? Me? Do I look like an assassin? After arguing for a while, the doctor and I reached an understanding. I would not kill anyone, and she would help me escape. You'll find my access card in my jacket. There are first aid kits in the closet. Take some. If you shoot someone, use them so they don't bleed to death. If I shoot someone, I don't have a gun. Okay, as, as you wish. Doctor, it hurts. My rack! You couldn't just take the card from the pocket. It's kill or be killed. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a level 2 card. Uh, we're full on that. Let's... Uh, 
We've got to keep it non-lethal. No, just keep that for now. Let's go. So what's our missions? Look for the exit access card. Okay, so I think the only way we can go is up. We need to beat these things up. What's in here? Doesn't look like much. Bullets. Oh, so we get a gun. <gasps> I finally had a gun. Now I could kill those guards. That is, if I were an assassin and didn't promise the doctor I wouldn't murder anyone. So if I shot someone, I had to use a first aid kit to heal them before they bled to death. So you really didn't kill anyone? Of course not. I'm not an assassin. The gun I found was empty, but it had a 10 bullet magazine. So I loaded it up with any bullets I found. Press RB to reload the gun. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, Lord of the Bullets, that challenge unlocked. Let's sneak on across here. Take this guy up by hand. Maybe not. Checking his pattern. Alright, let's go and take him out. Got nothing on him. Alright, let's see if we can take this guy out without notifying anyone. Nice. More bullets. Alright, what are these guys' patterns? Wake up, Mike. What happened, Mike? Someone attacked me. Let's find him. Oh. Okay, so they're more on the a lot. Okay, cool. Come over this way. Come down. Alright, not the cleanest of kills, but we got there. Extra four bullets, nice. Extra four bullets. Can we knock these things? Oh, we can. Alright, nice. Let's keep going. Those ones are. Right, some sort of office. I'm sure there'll be some more files here. Yeah, here we go. I had to do this last time. The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium of coded numbers. It also had a map, so those numbers could be the coordinates of attack routes, or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded, but anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. Okay, so we haven't really found much more about Operation Jericho, have we? Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Okay. Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. I found more documents. They look like 
A list of coordinates. Coordinates of what? This document is encoded as well. I don't know what the coordinates are for. Huh. They could be strike targets. Those bastards could be planning to attack us. Okay. Spot, nice. Alright, anything else around here? There's a couple of first aid kits around. Oh, it's good to see that everyone stays knocked out as well. Alright, which way do we go? We must go any straight. This is Jesse Fox. Over. This is the doctor. Over. What? Doctor? But how? How is the escape going? Just fine. Trying to find a way out of this building. Well, my access card won't work. It's only clearance level 2. Leaving the building requires level 3 clearance. Where would I find that? The officers would have them. Their offices are on the third floor. Wow. Thanks for the help. I didn't know you cared about me. What I care about is that you leave ASAP so I stop getting so many patients. By the way, what's your name? My name is Doctor. Over and out. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, so we're on level 1, so we're going to go to level 3. Oh, but we've got to check out this level first, don't we? Colonel? Fox, do you have what you need to leave? Not yet, Colonel, but a contact told me where to find an access card. A contact? Yes, a doctor. A doctor? Give me a description. She is smoking hot. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, control your hormones, son. We're in the middle of a very serious operation. Listen, Colonel, make no mistake. I'm not in any operation of yours, nor am I any of your soldiers. I'm only trying to escape from this damn place. Damn it, Jess, don't you realize this is an escape, son? You must realize Operation Jericho could end up with countless casualties. And it's your moral duty as a citizen to prevent it. Prevent it? Me? Is that a joke? Yes, you! Search every damn office in that building for any information you can prevent that damn plan. Over and out. Okay. Oh, we're gonna come back to the sewers, are we? Ooh, what's this place? More uranium balls. No, nothing across there, okay. I'll get to the other side. That was a waste of time. Oh, what's that? Is that against rage against the machine? Okay, I can shoot them. Nice. Nice. Oh. Oh. Alright, I used a few bullets that time. Alright, bullets times five. Oh. That worked. Bullets times two. Let's keep going. Okay, there's three in this room. Three, bang. Good. Good shooting, Jesse Fox. I noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. They seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop. Oh. Make a draw. Alright, how's this work? 
Okay, 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 so I've got to shoot. That's getting him, that's getting him. Come on, let's get him. Make a drone. Jeez. Oh, that was lucky. Boss defeated. Boss defeated. All right, nice. Oh, there's a heap of bullets here. All right, nice. Ooh. This is Jesse Fox. Over. Doctor here. Hey, Jesse, I need a small favor. Uh, favor? Of course. The guards you injured on the first floor just keep coming in. Can you find a less vicious way to handle them? Not that I care, per se, but I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Oh, sorry, Doc. You can count on me. You're drooling. Uh... <laughs> what? Oh. Sorry, her voice was so damn sexy. Is my voice not feminine enough for you? Well, it's girly, of course, but... Oh, shut up. Continue your story. Alright, find a non-violent method to take down the guards. Alright, collateral damage. Go down, looks like. Anti thermal suit. No, nothing around here. Alright, sodium. Water. Sodium. I climbed down into a pokey little room that seemed to be stocked with a lot of chemicals. I could brew up some chloroform to put the guards to sleep and score points with the doctor. Hold on, you have expertise in chemistry? Chemistry's not that hard. You just have to mix the ingredients correctly. All right, chloroform. Is there a form? Chloro. Oh, I think I can work this one out. So let's look at water, chloro. So let's combine chloroform. And then if I grab a handkerchief and look at that. Oh, shortcuts. Uh, let me carry the gun first. A guard with his back turned was listening to music. It was the perfect chance to okay. test out the chloroform. I just needed to sneak up and put him to sleep. Okay, so I've got to click that. Alright, then you push the trigger like here. Nice. Good night. Challenge unlocked. Keep RT pressed for three seconds to put guard to sleep. Oh, let's see what's around here. Nice. Two more bullet slots. Oh, let's keep going. First aid kit, four more bullets, which is great. 
Oh, this is ah, oh, this is that room we were in before. Oh, okay, so we've gone full circle. Alright, cool. So we've got to go up a level. Level three. Thermal sensor. Colonel, do you read me? Right, let's put these thermal sensors on. Alright, so we've got batteries. We're gonna make sure. These thermal sensors do not detect this. Up. Ooh, another office. Uh, another file. Okay, let's check out what the file is. Let's, um. The third file of Operation Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Cantor province with exact coordinates, an ambush plan, and a picture of the colonel with his name under it. Apparently their plan was to kidnap the colonel without leaving a trace. The second file of Operation Jericho okay, was a compen- before. All right, nothing in there. Last time we checked those secret rooms, we have to tell the- Fox here, over. What is it, Fox? Colonel, I discovered a third document. Good job, son. What's on it? Let me take a look at it. Interesting. What was your name? Colonel Alan Harris. Why do you ask? Because your name is written here. Don't pull my leg, son. I'm serious, Colonel. It's right here. Damn. This means that they need me for their plan. Alright, let's go. Uh, the third file of Operation Jericho was quite revealing. Oh yes, it had. Sorry. I want to get that suit back in there, so I don't set off the alarm. So if you set the alarms off, if one just comes after you straight away. How am I going to do this? All right. Alright, so there's a lot of bullets and... Alright, we can take that. I don't know what these batteries are for, but I don't know how to open those other crates without alarming so many people. Last time we walked into one of these rooms, we've got a secret little door. Ooh, Alpha Building Map. What's that? Alpha Building Map. Oh, okay, F1. Okay, the left. What's that gold thing there? If you go up in there. Ah, oh, that file was in that room. So there's another room on F1, looks like. Yeah, so... I'm not sure. Well, let's keep walking around level 3 for now. We need this thermal suit, just in case. In the next corridor, I ran into... Um, GDC, GRD, SHP. I have no idea what these mean, so let's pick SHP. 250 sheep. What? Alright, let's go through the sheep. Alright, 
<laughs> uh, what's in these boxes? Come on, it's got to be something good. Batteries. So we've got nine batteries now, which we've got to work out what they are for. I was so hungry that I almost bit into the raw steak. But I remembered that it's a crime to kill an animal for its meat. Are you vegetarian? No. Killing them is a crime. That's why I eat them when they're still alive. Well, okay. Well. Uh, I don't want to risk it once you set off these alarms. Everyone just comes out after you. Um. Right, let's go. Jesus, you scared me. Sorry, I didn't think anyone was up here. Yeah, me neither. My name's Mike, and you are? I'm Mike, maintenance. I had the day off today, but our damn officer kept me here the whole night fixing stuff. <laughs> what an asshole. I'm gonna kick his ass so hard, he'll drop his level 3 access card and be stuck in this building. Where's his office? Really? Wow! It's right behind you. That's the door. The one with the lasers? Yep. Let me guess. Deadly lasers. Yep. Disintegrate you on contact. Ugh. Well, maybe another time then. Hold on. If we generate a small power surge in the right circuit, those lasers will shut down. Great. Let's do it. I'll need at least 12 batteries. We keep them in the boxes on this floor. You get the batteries. I'll prepare the surge. Hey, Mike. Here are the batteries. Good. Hand oh, them nice. over. I'm ready here. Just got to connect them to this wire and... Woohoo! Lasers deactivated? Nope. Shocked my hand. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's try this wire instead. Whoo! You okay? Bye, lasers. It's gonna take a while to fix them, but no regrets. Totally worth it. Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. Don't sweat it, Mike. We're even. Um, I'm gonna put on my gun just in case. Oh. I was finally in front of the office door. On the other side, I could hear someone talking on the phone. Yes? I see. Are you sure about that? Damn! That's high treason! No, that won't be necessary. I'll deal with it personally. That was the officer with the access card I needed. But he was leaving through the other door, and the card had to be on him. What was he talking about? Who was the traitor? It wasn't long before I found out my answers. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. It looks like you're in some big shit, pal. I've been listening to some radio comms, and... Does the doctor sound familiar to you? Fuck yes. Why? Because I heard that someone is going to arrest him for treason. Damn it. I have to stop them. Be careful, Fox. Don't panic. This shot could be a trap. Robert's call made my head spin. I left the office as fast as I could. It took me less than two minutes to reach the sick bay. Oh, no. Alright. Gotta get there in two minutes. Now, here we go. Hopefully this is a nice, quick, clean run. Oh, come on, get through the sheep. I can't even do my roll without, with or without my suit. Alright, let's go. Alright, so if we keep the suit on, we should be pretty safe to get through this bit. Let's just run. I shot a guard. I couldn't let him die. I promised it to the doctor. 
I had to heal him before bleeding to death. Oh, you're cracking me. So I got close, and I used one of my first aid kits. Alright. Alright, down we're going to go. Damn, I've only got one first aid kit left. Got one minute to go. Uh, I think it was this way. I think it was this way. Forty seconds left. There they were. Robert was right. Those bastards were going to arrest their own doctor. Sons of bitches. I wasn't going to let it happen. So we walk in. Reach a sick bay and listen to me. As I got Get close, it. I could hear shouting from inside. Then I remembered what Robert told me about being careful. I held back my urge to kill and listened to the conversation. And why did you give him your access card? I didn't. He took it from my jacket. But you did nothing to stop him! This is high treason! You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman! So, Dr. Hoffman? I'm surprised, Mr. Fox. You managed to remember a surname. Well, I had a neighbor named Hoffman. Big German man. Very hairy. He won the lottery and was planning to retire, but his gonorrhea had other plans. Fascinating. Let's return to the story, please. Sure. Where was I? This is High Treason. You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman. Good. Just testing if you were listening. You want a doctor that has no idea how to fight? Stop a man that knocked out all your guards? Are you really that stupid? Don't you dare insult my intelligence. I know you gave him medical attention. How many wounded have you healed, Lieutenant? I'll tell you, none. Why? Because your job is to be a paper-pushing butter bar. <laughs> Mine, on the other hand, is to heal and attend to anyone who needs it, even if that person killed my family. Aiding the enemy in this base is treason. My oath has no restrictions on who I must heal. You want to arrest me? Then tell me, Lieutenant, who is going to save the lives of your soldiers if I'm in a cell? You? A man so incompetent that a prisoner is running circles around him? How dare you! Now stop pestering me and get the hell out of my sick bay! This isn't the end, Doctor. You're on thin ice. Man, she's one badass doctor. Shit, they're coming out. Do I run? And off he went, taking Bish. the level 3 card with him. I needed that card if I wanted to get out of this building. But before that, I had to check if the doctor was okay. Okay, we'll check if the doctor's alright, see if we can get some med kits too. Doctor, are you alright? Why do you ask? I found out you were going to be arrested, so I ran here to help, but I heard people shouting, and I saw those men walking out. That's Lieutenant Marcuson. All bark and no brain. I can't stand that moron. Really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> but once he speaks to General Lex, I'll have some serious problems. You've dragged me into quite a mess. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to cause you trouble. Yeah, I know. Anyway, thanks for worrying about me. It's what I do. That Marcuson has a level 3 card on him. I'll understand if I see him in my sick bay later. You read my mind. See you around, Doc. <laughs> Hang on. Kiss. Nothing. <laughs> Kiss. Wait, what? <laughs> Ouch! Deja vu! What the hell were you doing? I was leaning in for a hug. With your eyes closed? And you said kiss out loud! Sorry, let's never speak of this again. Fine by me. You look tired. Take these first aid kits. Thanks, Doc. Nice. Save some for Lieutenant Marcuson. If you shoot him, don't let him bleed to death. I'll be executed as an accomplice if he dies. Now go! Catch him before he exits the building! 
Alright, cool. So I've got the first aid kits I wanted to get. Neutralize the officer before he leaves. Well, well, well. If it isn't the slippery, cowardly pet of that traitorous bitch. What's up? Is your conjugal visit over? <laughs> I'm in charge of enforcing curfew, and only I can leave from here. Problem with a building this large? There are too many hideouts for a mutt like you. <laughs> so. Oh no. Now it's just you and us, mutt. You can't run and you can't hide. Okay, Jesse Fox, Lieutenant Markison. Let's take him. Oh! Oh, jeez, look at these lasers! Alright, just checking how the lasers work. Alright. Alright, come on. Nice, we got Boss him. Defeated. Alright, neutralize the officer before he leaves. Finish this once and for all. Don't even think about it, bastard. Death would be too good <laughs> for you. I'm going to keep you alive, and you'll lie here on the ground until someone finds you. Everyone will know that a single prisoner defeated you. The best part? You'll be severely injured. I wonder how it'll feel being the patient of a woman you called a traitor. No! No! Got his level 3 access card. Nice one. Alright, leave the building. Alright, cool. Oh, there was more health kits with the doctor. Let's go back. Just in case. Nice. I didn't know that was unlimited, but let's go. Back up to six health kits. I feel good at the moment. That wasn't a too bad boss fight. Let's get out of here. I tried to open the door with the level three card, but the exit also had a biometric scanner, which needed to scan your retina and your fingerprints. In other words, only authorized people could open that door, and I was not one of them. Oh, okay. I passed the scanner. Oh, do I need the... Let's see, I think we need the, um, the main guy that had the level 3 access. Here he is. Let's run back. Let's go with Jesse Fox. Let's get out of this compound. 
this has been a pretty cool level, guys. What are your thoughts on it? I'd like to get your thoughts. Nice. The lion's den. Stage complete. Ah, uh, we missed one of the secrets. That's okay. Well, good. So, guys, what we're going to do, let's end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of playing Unmetal. See you later. Bye.